The president of the Chartered Insurance Institute of Nigeria, Mr. Edwin Egbiti, wants insurance practitioners to continue to be at the frontiers of technological innovations and trends. So as to thrive and drive impact, Mr. Egbiti made this known while addressing journalists at an event put together by the Institute to deepen insurance penetration and awareness across the country. Blessed Omonose tells us more. In keeping up with its corporate mandate of grooming world-class talent for an international industry through the promotion of skills development and professional conduct, the Chartered Insurance Institute of Nigeria has again organized a social event focused on showcasing the intellectual capabilities of the next generation of insurance practitioners in the industry. According to the Insurance Act 2003, this is the second edition of the event and it has no doubt lived up to its full potential of promoting insurance awareness, intellectual prowess and gender equality amongst young professionals in the non-financial sector, hereby boosting the adoption of insurance across the country. The intention is to drive down, to be able to identify our young women, and also to be conscious of the fact that we need to build up a succession plan in every of our establishments. It's just a competition between young the young ones in the industry who are not core insurance people, but however, they find themselves working in insurance to give them a sense of belonging. So we're saying um, young graduates, young professionals, whether qualified or otherwise, um, they should come out and showcase whatever talent they have. Bearing his mind on the outlook of the industry for the year 2023, the president of the CIIN used the opportunity to set an agenda for the new administration. Insurance in general terms is a catalyst. It's one of the things that engine the economy. Where there is buying and selling, insurance should be a way of life. And I keep on repeating the fact that until insurance grow, economy will not grow. And therefore the agenda we have for the new coming government that they should embed on is the concept of insurance. More or less, it will enable them to come out with policy, policy that will guide them in their future holistic look. The event, which was well attended by stakeholders in the industry, provided an opportunity for contestants from different insurance companies to display their potential and compete for the crown. Blessed Omanose. TVC News, Lagos. Well, in business news, figures obtained from the Central Bank of Nigeria reveals its bank credit to government rose from uh, 24.66 trillion in December to 28.43 trillion at the end of February. The CBN Monetary and uh, Credit Statistics reports that uh, also shows that the credit rose from 14.9 trillion naira at the end of January 2022 to 26.65 trillion naira the corresponding period of 2023. A breakdown of the federal government borrowings reveals that the central bank has 93.21%, commercial banks 44.26%, and uh, non-interest banks 79.13%. Reacting to the surge in government borrowing, Mr. Liu Sanusi, a member of the Monetary Policy Committee, says tightening of the rates is needed to moderate the liquidity associated to the proposed government borrowing in 2023. Well, the National Bureau of Statistics says all commodities terms of trade is down by 0.55 basis points in the fourth quarter of 2022 compared to the decline of 0.50 percentage points in the preceding quarter. Disclosing this in its latest monthly uh, commodity price indices in terms of trade report, all commodities group index report increased by 0.40 percentage points when compared to 0.76 percentage points increase recorded in the third quarter of 2022 while the group export index increased by, decreased by 0.15% between October and December. Also, report shows that in terms of trade for October, November, and December 2022, stood at 101.61%, 101.16%, and 101.05%, respectively. Rising prices of products of animals or vegetable fats and oils, vehicle aircraft, vessels, mineral products, and other cleavage products are responsible for the change in terms of trade. 
In the telecommunications sector, statistics from the Nigerian Communications Commission shows that mobile subscription rose by 4.61 million to hit 226.84 million in uh, 2023. The total number of mobile subscribers rose to 226.84 uh, million from uh, the 225.88 million recorded in January 2022. MTN remained the largest telecom provider with 92.91 million mobile subscribers, followed by Globalcom 60.76 million, Airtel 60.30 million, Nine Mobile 13.07 million. Teledensity, the number of active telephone connections per 100 inhabitants living within an area, rose 119.01% in February while mobile internet subscription grew to 156.42 million, while broadband penetration arose to 48.49%, and subscriptions hitting 92.56 million. Global stocks rose and the dollar softening today as a deal backed by U.S. regulator for first season in brand shares to buy failed Silicon Valley banks suited wild worries about problems in the sector. MSCI's broadest index of Asian Pacific shares outside of Japan a drop 0.6%. Also, U.S. stock features, the S&P 500 E-minus rose 0.1%. Australian shares jumped 1% as lithium and commodity stocks rallied sharply after battery metals explorer uh, Leon, Leon Town Resources rejected a $3.7 billion buyout bid from Albemarle Coal. As fears is, demand for U.S. dollar drops, while Asian currency broadly firmed with a Malaysia hitting a five-week high. The World Bank says that average potential global economic growth will slump to three decades low of 2.2% per year through 2030, ushering in the lost decade of the world's economy unless policymakers adopt ambitious initiatives to boost labor supply, productivity, and investments. In its recent report, the Washington-based bank warns that failure to reverse the expected broad-based slowdown in gross domestic product uh, growth would have negative implications for the world's ability to tackle climate change and reduce poverty. However, the World Bank chief economist, Mr. Adrian McGill, advises that a concerted effort towards boosting investment in sustainable sectors cut trade costs, leverage growth in services, and expand labor force participation will boost potential GDP growth by 0.7 by, uh, percentage points to 2.9%. In the money market, U.S. regulators are seeking to ban Binance, the world's largest crypto trading platform, alleging that the firm has been operating in the country illegally. The lawsuit from Commodity Futures Trading Commission says the firm cultivated U.S. business uh, while failing to register properly uh, with authorities. Also, it accused Binance of breaking numerous U.S. financial laws, including rules intended to twat money laundering. Binance defended its practices, claiming that it had made significant investments to ensure that a U.S users were not active on the platform, which includes blocking users identified as American citizens or residents who had a U.S. mobile number. Crude oil prices retreated today after rally in the previous session with markets focused in on developments in the banking crisis and indications of strengthening demand in China. U.S. West Texas intermediate crude rose to sell at $73.21 with an uptick of 0.55%. Brent also sells at uh, $78.36, up 0.31%. Bonnie Light sells at $75.68, recording an upward review of 2.45%. And for the OPEC basket, crude dealers are offering $74.60 per barrel with a decline of 1.69%.